Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now, I ain't really speak on the Coach Prime and all of that stuff because I was waiting on game day today. Um, wasn't really speaking on it because it was like, okay, whatever. We already know what this is. You know, this is all it is. It's just... He the new hotness. They find us some ways to hate on them. You know, it is what it is. That's what they do. All they know how to do is hate, hate, hate when somebody comes to do something different against the norm. <laughs> you got Saban and all these guys over here pouting. Because they actually have to put that money out there to help these players. See, Saban was getting away with all of this under the table shit. Allegedly. You know, but nobody's going to say nothing about it. That's why Jimbo Fisher, ever since then, they've been on Jimbo Fisher. But Jimbo Fisher, you know, was an okay coach. You know, he won when he was with um, Florida State because he had a whip. He had a good team around him. But ever since then, he's been getting a lot of NIL guys, and he ain't been doing nothing with them. But we know we know the um, whole situation when it comes to, um, you know, Coach Prime. You know, the Colorado State coach talking about your mom taught you this. Well, tell your mom that she teach you how to suck a stick because you must be sucking a stick because you're just doing the same thing everybody else doing. So your mom must have been a buster, right? What does your mom or what does what Coach Prime wear got to do with anything? Is your team prepared to play? Is your team ready to play? Oh, no, you just like everybody else. You got a clout chase. You got to get your name in on the prime thing because nobody going to remember your ass after this game. <laughs> nobody going to talk about you. So you know what you got to do just like everybody else. We got to either be on the negative or the positive. <clears throat> right? That's what y'all do. But see, it's cool for y'all to get all the talent. It's cool for y'all to get all the players. But hey, listen, Alabama, I told everybody, everybody knew it. Ceno was the only one that didn't know it, but we all knew it. <laughs> and shout out to Carcino for life. But we all knew it. Alabama been done for a long time. When that NIL hit, it was over. The reason Alabama has lost is because Nick Saban is an overrated coach. He's overrated. He's good at coaching the defense, but then he's slacked on the defense, and in his team he brings in a good or creative offensive coordinator, and they basically bail his ass out like they do all the time. <laughs> I think the last time his defense has really been solid was when they played LSU for the second time. Remember they lost to LSU early in the year and then, the, then at the end of the year they beat them like 21 to zip or something like that. The defense was out, out of this world. But ever since then, he's never really had a tough defense no more. He doesn't have a secondary, doesn't have really a pass rush. Last year, Will Anderson, which he's doing now for the Texans, was saving his ass. Q said it best the other day, like, man, Will Anderson was out there saving their ass. I said, I already know, bro. <laughs> saving their ass, boy, hard. So, so that's how I went. Now, people are upset because what Coach Prime is doing, they don't want that to be the norm. They don't want everybody coming in beating to their own drum. They want everybody to say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, massa, no, massa. That's what they want. They want that coach that um, Florida State had. I think the name was Ty Willingham or whatever. They want a coach like him. Who's a token Negro. Who's going to bend over backwards 
from here to Sunday, from Monday to Sunday, I mean Sunday to Sunday, <laughs> right? That's what they want. But see, this is the problem that I've been trying to tell people for years, is that when you're coaching, you're coaching the game on what's being presented to you. So you're adjusting after each series. After each series has been ran, you're adjusting. You're adjusting, trying to see what you could do better. You're asking your players what's going on out there. They give you an idea, then you go from there. Some of these uh, some of these coaches don't listen. They want to just be hard headed, like oh, I'm gonna stick to my game plan. I got the greatest game plan in the world. But then when they get in their butt whooped, it's like they lost. So. Prime, Coach Prime is coaching these guys up. He's teaching these guys mental. He's teaching these guys mental. Football is 10% physical, 90% mental. You could be physical all day, but if you don't know where you're going being physical, you're either going to be a hindrance to the play or you're going to put yourself out the whole play entirely. And this is why I be trying to tell guys when I be arguing with them on Sundays and like, dog, y'all y'all, are cool and all, but y'all don't really know the nuances of football. Y'all don't know the plays. Y'all don't know the, y'all don't. Y'all think y'all know because y'all heard another player say it, but you guys don't see it. So that's why I'm saying guys be like, man, he threw a pick like that. Yeah, because the receiver was supposed to get to that area. So that's what I'm saying. We got to start looking at things for what they are in its entirety. People do not like a strong alpha black male, especially one that is boisterous like Deion Sanders. We know this. And then they talk about, man, Deion go to the NFL. Why he need to go to the NFL? So he can go there and be told, no, you... You can't get your own GM. You got to get what we give you. And everybody's like, man, he could go to Dallas. You think him and Jerry going to work? Jerry wants to be the star of the team. He's the stars. Not Dak. It's him. You got Dak out here throwing to like piss poor receivers. You trying to hype this CD Lamb guy up. And I keep trying to tell Dallas fans, oh, it's Dak. It's not Dak. It's your damn receivers. They don't get open. They don't know how to run a goddamn route. If I tell them I need you to run a route or die, they dead. <laughs> they dead. It's like, bro, what are we doing here? They cannot run routes. And it's, it's mind-boggling to me. C.D. Lamb, all you got to do is get physical with him and he's done. He can't get off of a guy who's like if you go if he goes against a real good corner, he'll get him. The real good corner get him like Darius Slay. You gonna see when the Eagles play the um Cowboys, when when um Darius Slay put them stick beaters to him, y'all gonna see y'all ain't got no receivers. Cause y'all don't. Y'all don't have any receivers. And then you guys might not even... Y'all better watch out for the commanders because the commanders are coming. Commanders got receivers and they got a defense. You guys are really sleeping on them. I had the Giants, but now after looking at the commanders, I told people I wouldn't be surprised if the commanders come out that division. You know, but <clears throat> we live in a society where everybody wants everybody says something but they really don't mean it they don't mean it they're not gonna tell you how you feel me i'm gonna tell you how i feel whether you like it or not like it most of the time you might not like it and me i don't care you're gonna hear what i gotta say coach prime is saying is changing how football is for the better He's not out there just being flashy. He includes his kids and everybody and everything. And that's the thing that's respectable and he's making them guys better.
You know, Coach Prom, he has fun. Even when he played football, when he played with the Falcons, when he played with the Niners, when he played with the Cowboys, he never changed who the hell he was. He never changed. He always showed that exuberance. He always showed that boisterous attitude that's contagious. And I think people never knew about Coach Prime. <coughs> I think they thought he was going to be a coach and that would change. Nah, it's not going to change. So, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Probably do another video tonight after I get off work. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I'm just... I'm pissed off right now about about the situation going on right now, man, and it's really pissing me off right now. So y'all might not see me till tomorrow for all day football, cause right now I'm just pissed. I don't even want to be around people right now. Like I might just go somewhere and just just chill <laughs> for real, cause it's like people don't understand the the, the people don't understand that. The sacrifices you make, they don't understand how hard your job is. They don't understand how hard it is to put these videos together, how to analyze things. They just think you just press a button and you just go and that's it. You ain't got to do nothing else. You know, and it's just it's just disrespectful. Like people really don't appreciate what you do. But when you're gone and they actually see what you were doing, what they what they going to say? And then some people, you appreciate what they do, but the only time like they do that stuff is so they can get your appreciation so you could tell them how much they do for you. And that's selfish. That's the worst kind of selfish. So thank y'all for listening, man. I'm out. I'm pissed right now. I'm just not showing it because I got to go into work. But thank you guys for the support. I'll make sure you guys check out the videos, you know, and if you're not getting your notifications, please let them know. Please let them know because there's nothing I could do. I can just put in the report. I can't talk to them directly. They're shadow banning my page. They done did so much stuff to my page, dog. I barely get any views anymore. So it's like, whatever. I don't care, dog. I really don't. I just want to make videos, dog, and for the love of it, dog. Because I'm just, I just don't. I'm, I'm just tired of everything, bro. It's just... It's getting harder and harder each day. And then the people you got around you just don't give a damn. They just focus on they bullshit. And that's fine if you're doing that. But don't act like you care and try to talk to me. And it's a weird conversation. Like naturally just talk to me. You know, it's like I said, man. Thank y'all, man, for y'all love and blessings. I'm out. Deezy.